What's up, guys? Retro Gamer here, and welcome back to New Super Mario. Uh, uh, I keep screwing up the names for these games sometimes. Welcome back to more Wind Waker. In the last part, we helped out some mailman, and now we're supposed to be looking for Medley, Medi, Medi. I don't know. I can't get in her name right, and I don't know where she. Ooh. Ah, I screwed. Uh. Well, <laughs> I screwed up. And yes, I did totally steal this from Peanut Butter Gamer. <laughs> but anyway, let's go see what she wants. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and... In his rage, he shook the mountain, and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali has taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was a great former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I honored to have her. I was honored. I honored to have her. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her dealing with the Great Blue. I'm not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I had possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Link, I'm sorry I asked this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that is near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm, sh I'm sure I could get up there. So, will you help me? Yes, I will. Because you didn't mention the fact that it took me three times to do that. <laughs> or like five times. Okay, pick me up. Then face the ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay attention to the direction of the wind. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Alright. Let's see. I shall throw you as hard as I can. Oh my god. I tried. Okay, that didn't exactly work. Let's try once more. Use the wind to throw me up to that ledge. Alright. Let's try it now. Oh. That didn't work again. Uh, I'm fine. That didn't really hurt. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Once more, once more with the wind. Toss away, please. Alright. Uh, let's make it easier on you and me because, jeez, man. That's really painful. I can tell. But I'm gonna. Okay, how did I pull out my wind picker again? It's, uh. Ah, oh, jeez. Go to items. And what I. Oops, silly me! It's the D pad doll. I knew that. I was testing you guys. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, so it's up. It's been a while, hasn't it? I'm completely and totally. But where, where did it go? Where did it go? There we go. Alright, but anyway, Wind's Requiem, we're going to play it this way. Already stacking up the fail moments in the first second of recording. Jeez. We had the wind pointing that way. I'm totally good at this game, guys. I'm, to I'm so good. I, I know what I'm doing. I, I put the game in the console, and then I grabbed the controller, and... Uh, oh, God. Me! Uh, I totally threw her in that direction. Jeez. <laughs> what? <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, let's see if I. I wonder if I can make it from right here. Go up there, Medley. Okay, never mind. Oh, jeez. This might. My... All right. <laughs> it's really funny what she says. I'm kind of throwing her into a wall just to enjoy this. And I'm. I'm already screwing up so badly that I can't even believe what I'm doing. Like seriously. I should have been done with this by now. This is ridiculous. Alright, so there she is. She's up there. Thank goodness. She's saying thank you because she's probably tired of getting hit against the wall. I think I'll now be able to claim Dragon Loose and meet with Great Velu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be the apprentice attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Velu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence. But... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. And we get an empty bottle. Yay. Bottles are good. 
Oh, and please don't tell anyone that I'm climbing Dragon Roost. It'll be our secret, okay? Uh, well, good luck to both of us. Uh, was, was she flirting with me? So I'm taken by no one. I'm taken by myself. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you fill your bottle up with water. Try pouring on something that looks dry and withered. Hmm. Now, if I remember correctly, we walked past something dry and withered, didn't we? And I just totally played it off, right? Hmm. But anyway, yeah, let's go ahead and put it on this. Because this looks pretty dry and withered. Or it looks like, <laughs> pretty much like fall. But anyway, I'm going to blow that up. And look at that, the geyser was under there. That makes sense. It makes sense for all the water being right there, so close to them. The um to Death Mountain over here, <laughs> even though it's totally not Death Mountain, but we'll go over that sometime. Well, we'll we'll go over it sometime later. I don't want to speak too much about it. Tell the timeline. There we go. That's all I'm saying. And let's go into Dragon Moose. Swim faster. Swim faster. Faster. Oh jeez. So what is up? I've been playing a Link Between Worlds. Which is, I like it. You see, see me, I was, well, I don't know if I should say that loud, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of A Link to the Past. It's okay. But I just, I like Link Between Worlds. It was a really good game. I love the save, like, music, because it's the, it's like my favorite song from The Link to the Past! Which is that whistle theme from, I don't, I don't even know the name of the dude, but his freaking, his freaking flute is so amazing. And I can't get a pa I can't get past a simple basket bomb puzzle. Oh, uh, I'm probably dying already because of hero mode. Oh, this just took one heart. That's cool. Wait, hero mode is on, right? I don't know. I'm scared right now. I don't want to tempt fate. Don't tempt my stars. This is it's ridiculous. We should have been. See, in any other normal day. I would have been in the dungeon right now, but since I'm recording and acting like an idiot, I can't make it in. Uh, do oh yeah, I forgot. Recovery hearts. I gotta get a potion. I gotta get a potion, you stupid lava. You screwed up everything. This is, this, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, get away from there. So that's scary. Now it's got me nervous about getting hit. You got me nervous about getting hit. You point and click. And obviously I can't seem to get in the dungeon. Whoever made this puzzle was just brilliant with it. And it was like, oh, this idiot will probably never get in. And I'm not referring to Link being an idiot. I'm referring to me. Oh, and there we go, finally. Finally, we can enter the dungeon. Or temple. Whatever you like to call it. Even though it's technically called the dungeon. Or a cavern, exactly. And Jesus, those things look really ugly. Just really weird and awkwardly ugly. But, um, I don't know. Hey, man, if you want to let your freak flag go, go ahead, man. Me personally, I, I gotta keep on my green tunic. But then again, they're probably making fun of me. They're like, look at this idiot walking in with a green tunic. I'm pretty sure he's not wearing. Pants, technically. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, go ahead, beat our first little fight of this dungeon, and it's really not that threatening. Those guys aren't threatening at all because they're moblins, the most basic enemy out of any. I just threw that because you know what? I didn't care about the fire, and I didn't care about Earth. Okay, there we go. We're gonna do it like that. We're not gonna be cool at all. We're not gonna swing at it, make it light on fire. We're just gonna walk past it like the most basic, obvious thing to do. And throw that because I don't want to hold that anymore. And we got a small key. Our first small key. Yeah. All right, right there. That is a warp that you could use from the dungeon. When I first saw that, I was just like, "What the heck is that thing?" I don't know. First, I was messing around with it, and I was like, "I don't care anymore." That is a warp. You'll find another one in the middle and then toward the end of the dungeon. Which is, will be 
useful in the future? Maybe. Maybe. It just depends on what you gotta do. I mean, I'm just trying to find some money. Because uh, eventually we're gonna need some money later on in the dungeon because of something I got earlier. If you remember or if you don't remember. Because if, well, if you don't remember, I kind of feel bad because... Well, then again, I don't feel bad because I understand. As I understand, I upload very terribly. I have a terrible schedule for uploading. It's like Proton John. Ah, oh, that was that was terrible. That was below the belt. <laughs> but anyway, making fun of other people's side, you know. <laughs> I'm so bad. I just now realize I'm a bully. By definition. Anyway, we're gonna keep going through here this dungeon, and I'm gonna ignore the bats. Despite my my conscience telling me they're going to whoa, that's new. I think what is with the rocks everywhere? What is with the rocks in this dungeon? I don't remember rocks falling from the sky, and if I would, I wouldn't be walking. <laughs> Get it walking around in the same areas without a little precaution. But anyway, that is a terrible like Christopher Christopher Walken impression. I'd be offended if I was just anybody. But anyway, we got a dungeon map, which will be good because you can look at that on the gamepad and see where stuff is. Well, the shape of stuff, basically, not where stuff actually is. And right here, I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna climb up a little bit and I'm gonna jump down. And I'm gonna beat him up. I like how his eyes close now because. That makes him freakier. No, and everything fell in the lava. I feel so sad. Ugh. No, don't fall in the lava. Link, don't try to go looking for stuff, man. That's why I'm not grabbing that green rupee. It's Link, man. You're crazy. First you drowned yourself, and now you want to jump into the lava. All right, now right here, there's gonna be a guy he jumps out through there. I ran straight into there the first time I played. And I was like, oh, what's that there? And I got hit by that dude. And I was like, oh, you jerk. Nintendo, why would you do such a thing like that? I'm a, just a tiny little child. Of course, I didn't say all that. And God, darn it! There we go. That's what I was trying to do. Move, Link. Your head is amazing. Okay, thank you. Go. Break those. And here's how you break this one. You throw it like this. Yeah. And it hit it on the first try. Oh goodness. Get out of here. Kill these red chews. And you kill these chews. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that joke. I was trying to say kill you, but with chews. So kill chew. I don't know. I want to kill Pikachu, but I'll <laughs> okay. Screw it. Um, no! I am now at half health, and now Link is disgusted with me. He he can't even look at me straight. He's just like, Ugh, I'm so disappointed in you. I know I'm disappointed in myself too. But right here, we're gonna go through. Uh, I'm gonna take this. Normally, I would like try to hit my sword on it, but uh, we're not gonna be doing that because that would be extremely dumb. So yes, I'm calling my past self extremely dumb, which I tend to do that a lot. I tend to think about stuff that I do in the past is dumb, but I would never like. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. I'm just kind of derping around, drifting around, and I got hit again. No! I can't die. I can't die this soon in the dungeon. Oh no. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, sir. Give me that stick. Now apologize to me. Oh, he's dead. Uh, now we gotta hide the body before we get in trouble. I'm just kidding. Murder is bad. It's very bad. We got another joy pendant, I think. How many joy pendants do I have? I don't know. I would check, but I just don't feel like it. But another thing to do to beat these, break these things, beat them. Because, yeah, these are, you got to beat these things, man. They're very tough opponents. But, um, you got to burn them like that. And then I'm probably going to, uh, where do I want to stop? <laughs> I don't want to go too far in the dungeon. Because, you know, stuff. But, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't need that dude to completely die. He just fell off. He could have had a joy pendant. I'm so sorry about that, sir. I didn't mean to do that. I will give you my information to call me for insurance claims and all all that stuff. Anyway. Oh, I hate these things so much. Oh, goodness. No! No, you bet not kill me. You bet not kill me. I, I refuse to die to a bird. 
All right, we got golden feather. This is the first thing that we first golden feather that we have. No! Oh, oh my goodness, that was scary. That was that was like in the top ten scariest moments of my life. It's right up there with fighting against Slappy and Dead Rising too. Oh no! What 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 is going on here? My head is burning. All right, I luckily didn't die from that. Thank goodness. But um, yeah, you gotta go right up here. You do a little bit more climbing to the left because. For some reason, the left is like the good direction right now. And we gotta go up. We gotta go up, Link. There you go. Whew. Climb up through here. And climb up right here. Jeez, man, I can't die. I can't die before the point that I need to be at. Because that would be bad. Alright. And now, now that that's done, I think I'm gonna end off this video right here. I know it's kind of like sudden. But, we got the whole rest of the dungeon to finish, and we'll finish it probably in the next video, most likely. So, if you like my stuff, why not comment, favorite, like, subscribe, become a red try if you like do that stuff, because, you know, it would be amazing of you. Uh, you can follow me on my channel if you like to do that, and next time we come back to Wind Waker, we will most likely be finishing the dungeon. This has been the Retro Gamer, signing out.